No. This is James Taylor for IFL TV and Association of Matches, Jim Marbella. With me, I've got English champion Tommy Martin after his seventh round TKO over Terry Needham. Congratulations on the win, Tom. Cheers, James. Thank you. Um, yeah, what can I say? It was a good learning fight. Um, to be honest with you, um, two weeks before the... F I got this fight three weeks ago. Um, a week in, into my sparring, um, Barry phoned Johnny and said, listen, we're having a tough sparring with Philip Bowes. Do we really want this fight with two weeks' notice when we've never boxed a southpaw? And um, I can't thank Philip Bowes enough for this camp, but uh, he just literally come straight back in the gym after his fight and helped help me out. And so uh, credit where it's due to him, he really got me in good shape. And uh, thanks to Barry Smith for the training, he's, the graft he's been putting up with me Monday to Friday. And, and uh, Johnny for the matchmaking and Eddie. It's been absolutely blazing. And Chez for the pucker hands for once. <laughs> pucker hands. I mean, it was a great fight to watch. I think the matchmaker was probably worrying a little bit at times just because the amount of shots that are coming over and Terry Needham can really bang. So I asked a lot of questions about your own chin there tonight as well. That's what they said. Listen, I've, I've always known from a kid I've got, I've got a good arsehole. Sorry for the language. I've got a good, I, I can go into the trenches and... Uh, Listen, and yeah, he could whack, he could whack, but I promise you now, I swear it wasn't a knockdown. I generally just tripped Shout over and he put me on the way down. You're fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, uh, but, but listen, hats off to Terry Needham, he is a tough, he is a tough kid and uh, yeah, just uh, another good win. I mean, that, that right hand you hit him with in the seventh round, for Terry Needham to go back the way he did, and you saw the look on his face expression said it all. He didn't want yeah. to know. He, yeah. he, it was a great shot. I don't it was a great he, shot. He was half out on his feet to yeah. It was yeah. a fantastic yeah. shot, and you don't often see him react like that. To be no, it was, it, was, it was a good shot. Um, listen, it's boxing. You're in those little eight-ounce gloves. Anyone can bang you out in this, yeah, in this game. So, uh, game. what can I say? Um, are you talking or am I talking? You look like you look like at times it, you were sort of overreaching at times trying to find your range because did that, that knockdown, exactly. obviously that knockdown as well made it more frantic for you to score points and try and take control of the You just hit the nail on the head, yeah. I was I was reaching in after I thought that after they counted, I was just uh, I was rushing and trying to feel like in my head I've got to get it back, got to get it back and uh, I should have just relaxed a bit more and listened to my team. So, listen, it's like I said, it's a learning fight, and uh, I've got to trust my team more. For the sixth round, you seem to a lot more control and take over. Uh, your fitness, obviously, is in fantastic condition, as your trainer just said about the camp. So, that probably made a difference for you coming into them later rounds. Definitely, yeah. Um, I, I, like, I'm, I'm a 10 round fighter now, so uh, eight rounds for me was easy work, and uh, it, was, it was literally just, it was just the southpaw thing. That was, that was the only change in this fight. That's the only thing I, t I had to uh, take out of, the, uh, out of this fight is uh, a, a good hard hitting southpaw. I've just stopped him. So, yeah. It's better than his record, though, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, a lot, a lot better. Yeah. Seven and two, seven wins and two losses. Yeah. So. Uh, three. Yeah. yeah. Three now. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. So. What can I say? Yeah, I'm more than happy. More than when happy. can we anticipate seeing you out defending your English title? Are you going to defend that? We. Um, I spoke to Eddie and uh, I don't know whether I'm allowed to announce it yet, but it's a. Oh, I want Charlie Rice. That's what I want. But um, he wants me in a British title eliminator. I'm going to say it. So uh, yeah, if he can if he can come through with the, with the British title eliminator, I'll be more than happy. That'd be a big fight for you. Even saying that Charlie Rice is a decent fighter. Yeah, he's been a bit, little bit in, inactive for probably my liking. But he's, but he's been calling him out, James. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, give him what he wants. And uh, what's he got now? What we'll He's got yeah. He's got enough months now. Listen, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna go out on the piss tomorrow night. So uh, we're both in the same situation from the next week, and uh, both get straight into training camp and get it on. Let's get it on. May God be with you. You know, son. Hey, I haven't mentioned him. You mentioned him. <laughs> Cheers, James. Thanks so much. <laughs>